Hello everybody, it is Ebontis, and this is going to be a guide on how to solve the Cathedral of Omens. So I'm going to kind of show you step by step how it works. You guys can skip skip ahead to kind of the end of the timestamps if you want to see the solutions to the puzzles. I'll kind of leave a good pause for you, but basically this is all this is. If you ever enter the Cathedral of Omens, that's all this is, is the shadow puzzle. You walk in, and that's all you've got. Now, you've got three levers. One on the left, that is going to rotate the bottom ring. It's the two circles next to each other. We've got one here in the middle. This is kind of the entrance, so straight in from the entrance. You're going to have the two circles across from each other, and you'll notice the shadows they cast are kind of going to line up with what we do with a triangle. And the one on the right is going to be the one that controls the symbols. So this is all solved through this book over here on the shelf. So if you come over here, you're going to see first page tells you all the symbols. The sun, the moon, life, death, doe, and ravager. Those are the ones you need to remember. Take a screenshot on your phone, computer, wherever. Sun, moon, life, death kind of looks like an arrowhead. Doe, in my mind, looks like a bug, but I can kind of kind of get the deer. Excuse me. And then the Ravager is kind of the evil-looking one. Now, the way this works is you're going to have the Calamity, which is going to have a symbol. Then you're going to have another one that has a symbol, which we'll get to in a minute. But basically, you've got a symbol which signifies which puzzle you're doing. Basically, it means you need to f have the puzzle face the door with this symbol on it. Now, the symbols we need are the Ravager, we need Death, and we need the Doe. It's the big, bolded letters. And you're also looking for the one italicized letter, and this one says Above. So basically, what's going to happen, we need to have the circles basically around the Ravager symbol, the Doe symbol, and the symbol, and the Death symbol. And then you need the Death symbol to be above, basically, the top of the triangle. So, this is kind of a good example of how to show you. So, from across the way, we've got the symbol we're looking for, and we're facing the right direction. You can also see the middle one has the triangle and the circle in the middle matching the same as the door, and I'm facing it as well. Now, the only difference is, right now, we've got the death symbol on the bottom, but we do have the ravager, the doe, and death circled. So, what we need to do is... Basically, flip the double rings so they're down here, and then flip the symbols. So we're going to come over here, do a couple switches, and then go over there. So if you guys want to jump ahead with timestamps, I will kind of show you guys which one is which, kind of as I get towards the end. Um, but if you guys just kind of want to see how these work, follow along. And honestly, if you enjoy this kind of solution, the explanation, that kind of thing, let me know. So pretty much the reason we're doing this is you've got the Doe and the Death right next to each other. You've got one space, and then you've got the Ravager. So if we rotate this around, we're going to have the Ravager, one space, and then the Death, and then a Doe. So, and then Death will be above, basically, the triangle, if you're going to look at the triangle from the other side. So, now we're going to run over to this side, and we are going to rotate the symbols. So you've got three pieces. We've got the symbols, as you can see. We've got the big diamond in the middle, and then you've got the double ring next to each other. But notice, if you get the double ring to line up, just get one circle. So one more pull, and we will solve this door over here, straight across from where you enter. And this one's going to be the Calamity Puzzle. And it should open up. But that one will open. See the door do its fancy stuff. And you're good. So the solution for the Calamity Puzzle is Doe on the bottom, Death on the bottom left, Ravager on the top, and again, this is from the entrance point on the map. So from here, from the entrance, the Ravager at the top, and then your triangle facing this way. These two circled here with the overlap like that, and then you've got the Ravager on the other side. Now I've already picked up the reward, but that's how you solve it. So. I'm just going to not too worried about getting the scrap, but we'll get on to the next one. The next one is going to be this guy. We've got the symbol with that triangle kind of facing to the top corner. Let's go check out the puzzle. Over here in our book, same principle will apply. This one is the blood moon. So we're going to have the moon, the ravager, and the sun. So the sun, the moon, and the ravager. And it says, as they feast, we hear the Ravager below. So we're going to want the Ravager below 
the triangle. So if you see on the hope page, basically we would want the Ravager below the flat line. So the sun, the moon, and the Ravager, so we only need three again. The first thing is we need the symbols to match up. So we need to rotate our triangle so it matches. So we'll go through about five of these things. Four, maybe. All right, should be one more. And this one's like probably not perfect, but it's about as close as you can get. It just feels like it's a little bit off in the angle. It is just a little bit tilted, but it's about as close as we're going to get. So then we need our symbols. So we know we need the sun, the moon, and the ravager. So we've got the ravager here. We've got the moon here, so those two are next to each other. And we've got the sun across the way. So kind of a similar thing to before. We're going to need to set up our ring down here. So if I do that, we could do sun and moon, one gap, and then sun. All right, so that should be good. Now that if I rotate it, then the Ravager will be... Interesting. Let's see what happens. And again, a lot of this game's puzzles are sometimes deeper than you think. They're not crazy, but they are... Some of them are rather intricate, so if you feel like you get stumped by some of these puzzles, you are not alone. Alright, so we get one more. Moon's gonna line up here. Ravager will be here, which is below the line of the triangle, triangle and the sun will be in. So again, that is the side door over here opening up. That's two. I didn't grab that thing, by the way, so if you do want the object behind a door, make sure you grab it before you close it, because I'm going to have to go and um, move that thing around to go get it. So, if you're looking for, I think it's called the Blood Moon, this is the second one. So, the Blood Moon is going to look like this, from the entrance. Again, from the entrance, Ravager down here at the bottom, with the two circles next to each other here. You got the moon right here to your right and then off center so basically from where you're standing at the front top left you're going to have the sun encircled and again this is going to be the right side door there is one more puzzle but so i don't make a mistake make sure i grab what in here this is two chests the other one's going to be some scraps since i already have the item and then this is going to be the final one so hang tight all right, so I fixed my issue, opened that door, and I got what I need out of there. So the final one is actually interesting because this one's open. This is like the beginning. There's a note in there. You can read it if you want to, but the door's open. You have the two chests in there, and then we've got this door open here. But if you turn around and look at the entrance door and look above it, we've got this one facing to the right corner. So again, got to figure out our puzzle wordage here, and we'll see what we can do. This one's got a little more to it, so it's one that you might want to take a couple phone screenshots of just so you can kind of keep it with you. So, facing the top right corner, we've got the dough and life. And we've also got sun and ravager. And then it says, as life and sun support from below, all will be revealed to the bulwark of the dough. So we need life and sun below, and then the dough and the ravager to not be below. So let's see if we can do that. So first thing we need to do is rotate the big middle triangle to basically be facing that way. So it's going to probably be just one pull from here. About as close as it's going to get. All right. All right. That closed that door. Now... See, this is why I said take a screenshot. It was life, death, doe, ravager, if I remember correctly. I'm sorry, life and sun. Life, sun, doe, ravager. All right, so I just need to figure out which four symbols, because you can get four, as you can see, but we don't have them all set up right now. And they would have to be below the triangle. So I'm going to have to move this one so they're on the other side. It's the only chance I have to make this work. 
So life, sun, doe, ravager. So I'm gonna have to move this one a couple times, one more. And then we're gonna have to rotate the symbols pretty much just one time to rotate it around. So if you're wondering how I did this, I had the solution for this one, and now I'm doing the secret one. Should be able to do these out of order. Now if you rotate, we should have Doe, Sun, Life, and Ravager. And you've got this thing that comes out of the middle. This one I have not done before. And we've got uh, Sagittarius. So this is actually a pretty cool bow. That's a bow I did not have yet, but that, I turned my HUD back on, I turned it off so you guys could hopefully get a good view there. Um, yeah. Turn that stuff back to normal. There you go. So that is the Cathedral of Omens. You've got this one for the Calamity, Blood Moon, and then the one above you. Use the book to your right to line it all up. And then remember, bottom ring is the one on the left. Middle ring with the triangles right here at the entrance. The switch on the right is your symbols up at the top. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you just want to say hello. You like this style of solution. I like to do things a little more in depth. Let me know in the comments below as well. I will be out of town for a little bit, but I'll try and post and schedule a couple of these if I can get them recorded before I go. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for all the support lately, and I'll see you soon.